Margit, shall we begin? Yes, let's. Okay, are you sitting comfortably? Yeah. Okay. And can you hear me okay? Yes, loud and clear. Okay. How many minutes signal? Let's do about 12 minutes of focusing. How many minutes signal would you like before the end? Uh, let's do three. Please. Okay, and I'm just grabbing some paper to write this down because I'm not notorious for forgetting what someone has just said. So you want about three minute signal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have an, um, what, is there anything you'd like from me as your companion? Um, just mm, trusting yourself and trusting the process. Mm. Thank you. And do you have an issue or something you'd like to explore? Yeah, there's a person that I'm working on a project with and I have some strong reactions to them. So I'd like to explore that. Okay, so there's something about the situation of working on a project with someone that you'd like to explore. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Would you like me to lead you in? Yes, please. And what kind of lead-in would you like? Uh, actually, a medium. I'm a little mm -hmm. wired, so just some time to get settled. Okay. And, drop and is there anything in the lead-in that you would like me to include? Mm, nothing comes to mind, so I'll just trust you. Okay, great. Thank you. So take some time. Just allow yourself to connect with your own breath. Our breath is always in the present moment. And our breath is always embodied. Allow your attention to be with the outer edges of your body. And even noticing where the outer edges of your body are in contact with something outside of you, like the chair you're sitting on. So your attention is with that space that's right on the edge of you, connected to what you're sitting on. And also take some time to notice that you are being supported by what you're sitting on. And see if it's okay to rest into that sense of being held, supported. Take some time to scan your body just to see if there's any place that feels contracted or uncomfortable, heavy. And if shifting your attention would help you to remedy that contracted area, go ahead and do it. Otherwise, just say hello to those areas. And when you feel that scan has been completed, let me know. All right. Okay. And now take some time to sense in your body for any place that feels alive or flowing, spacious or grounded. Just noticing that. And then bringing your awareness inward to the inner areas of the throat, chest, stomach, and belly that whole vast inner space, like you're more fully arriving within yourself. 
And with your attention resting inward, you can make a gentle invitation. What about this project that you're working on? And the person that you're working on it with? What about that whole situation? We'd like your attention now. And when something arises, I invite you to share it with me. Really subtle. I'm sensing a uh, bit of a contraction in my chest, mm-hmm. and the quality of uh, contained anger. Mm. You're sensing something in your chest that feels like a contraction and the quality of contained anger. Yeah, take a moment and um, just sit with it for a moment. Um, It's pretty subtle, so if if you give me a reminder, that Mm -hmm. would be great right now. You might just take some time just to acknowledge this, even the subtleness of it. Yeah, now it's um, coalescing there. I can sense a voice there. Um, it it's, it has something to say to me. Um, so I'm now Kind of, what does it say? Um, Sensing how it would like me to be with it. Mm -hmm. And it really wants me to listen. It's pretty angry. Mm It's letting you know that it wants you to listen. And you're also noticing that it's angry. So I'm um, letting it know that I hear it. And there's not a lot of words now. It's more of a sense of So we're a mixture of anger and tears. Mm -hmm. 
And you're sensing that it's a weird mixture of anger and tears. I'm taking that into my body and sensing that. Yeah, the tears are deepening. Um, it's telling me that it's really tired of the conflict with this person. Mm -hmm. It's letting you know that it's really tired of the conflict with this person. You have about three more minutes, so that's still time to sit with us longer. I'm letting it know that I hear um, the, the heartache. It's like a heartache mm. about this. And I'm letting it know it can be as it is for as long as it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Also acknowledging how tired it feels. Mm. I welcome <clears throat> any uh, Reminders, invitations for transition, mm -hmm. closure. Mm -hmm. Well, as you're looking for a place to stop, you might continue to sit with it with compassion. Yeah, it's really appreciating. And I'm hearing how how hard it's been and how tiring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You might also let it know if you're willing to be back with it again to explore this some more. Take some time to sense if, you, if there are any changes that you're noticing now after having spent some time with this. Yeah, I feel softer, um, not quite as constricted and agitated. Um, softer, but also kind of heavier, there's a heaviness. Mm. And you can invite that sense of something softer to be with you even after we finish this session and to be there as fully as it can be. Okay. Mm -hmm. And See if it's okay to thank your body and your body's process for what was revealed today to you.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, expressing gratitude. That one feels right to you. I invite you to open your eyes. Take your time. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And maybe we can start by talking a little bit how that process was for each of each of us. And I'm going to suggest that I go first just because you, I want you to be able to not have to speak any sooner than feels right to you. But I, I am also just appreciating right now your, your ability to be really present in the focusing process. And so that allowed me to, as the companion to feel very relaxed because of your, um, your familiarity with you know, the whole sensing within and describing and then sitting with and keeping company. And that was beautiful. Um, I'll also just mention for me, there was one place that I, I wish I had given you a different um, suggestion. And that was near, near the very beginning when things were a little uh, unformed or un, without in words. And I can't remember exactly what I did say, but I, after I said it, I wish I'd, I'd suggested something like that you might invite a sense of the edge of that, which was not quite yet formed to be there. And I, I didn't suggest that, and, but what I did suggest did help you. It, something did begin to coalesce. I think you even used that word. So it was good for me to see that even maybe what was not the most attuned um, suggestion still helped you to move the process forward so that was you know that was good to go like oh i wish i'd said that but then i didn't want to take back what i'd said and still your whole being moved with the suggestion that i did make so yeah i remember that suggestion and i remember you saying something like even though it's vague and yeah subtle and actually i felt that it was very attuned for okay. me mm-hmm. because it was subtle and there's something about acknowledging the subtleness it, and like green lighting the subtleness oh, well, allowed good. it to to then amplify it was it actually worked perfectly for me oh well no that's really good to hear because i was a little concerned because it hadn't been words that you had used so i thought well maybe i'm you know i should have been a little more in the classic just calling it an edge which might have been some something more familiar that you would have responded to. So great, I'm glad that even though I didn't use quite those words, it worked for you. Mm-hmm. Okay, good, good to know. How was the process for you? Um, it was great, it's, it's always surprising. You, you know, even though I've done quite a bit of focusing on my own, I don't necessarily do it. <laughs> Uh, you know, as regularly as perhaps would be really good. And so even though this issue has been bubbling for a while, there's something about the structure of the focusing Mm -hmm. and your reflection. I'm just stunned by just the simple reflection of the sensation, how much that drops me in. So it, it's so deceptively simple and yet so powerful to have my words come back in just a small phrase and how much that helped me drop in. I mean, we didn't have much time, you know, with the lead in. And yet it, I made contact with something that I hadn't before. And so it was, it was great. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you too. And it always surprises me how even if it's a very short focusing session can lead us to so much more than we might have, done with that time had we not brought this situation into a focusing session and uh and also to see again not to really talk about the content but there was a lot of complexity in what was there you know kind of sort of very different um uh, feeling senses were both there simultaneously and sometimes we don't drop into those the differences if we don't turn within to invite them we just kind of get fixated on one particular um you know facet of something so it was great to see like wow there's really mm-hmm. complexity here which is i think what jenlin talked about that um the felt sense contains 
a very complex um, snapshot of a situation that when we just kind of use the thinking mind, we don't see the complexity so easily. Mm -hmm. so, anything else you want to share? Um, I really appreciate at the end the reminder to notice what was different in my body, what shift. And I feel like that shift in softness uh, feels like a doorway to continuing mm -hmm. being in relationship with this colleague. So, yeah, and that was another place also that I did a little bit of a a little bit of a outside the the confines is that it's generally suggested that when the time signal is given, um, that the companion won't give any more sort of, for instance, guiding things. I mean, I, 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 by the books, I should have at that point in time just guided you into stopping. But I did add the um, suggestion to maybe have an, um, to sit with it with compassion. Because that it felt great. like that was a really, like if I didn't do that, I would feel like, oh, I didn't give myself what I would have needed at that point in time. And because it felt like you took that in so deeply, that's what gave me the courage then to sense for anything that might have shifted. Um, whereas it would felt it before, more specifically suggesting compassion, um, there wasn't as noticeable a shift as I saw, I, as I could feel in you after you sat with compassion. No, that was, that was really helpful. Just even those what, 15, 20 seconds of... yeah really sitting with that compassion was, was important. <coughs> yeah, so I felt like um, it is sort of interesting to, to see how just, yeah, like you said, 15, 20 seconds of something can begin to open up some space that was, um, there wasn't, you know, instead the other feelings were kind of filling up the whole space. But the larger sense of awareness is what can bring the compassion and that can loosen things up a little bit so that we might start also noticing some some that space inside of us so that was uh, the lead-in was great too you know that it, it because the initial response was so subtle the lead-in by having clarified my you know the edges and the support and then okay now go to the core that when you did mention okay here's the issue this project this person i could feel oh the response and so yeah I, I sometimes forget to do the lead-in with myself and I just was noticing how much clarity that gave me by having that oh so. great I'm glad that and I, I, I would say I guess I would say for myself too if I do solo focusing I don't always do a lead-in and um, so yeah good reminder mm. of the value okay all right uh, lucky me to have been a guinea pig for you. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely, lovely.